Hey, welcome back to Detail It. Today's all about mirror finish polishes in Selma, California. I'm going to do a little series, guys, where I'm going to review some of their products. Um, one of the local detailers here, Brian Rich Complete Auto Detailing, told me, Hey, Doug, do you remember about um, mirror finish in Selma? They have uh, paint protection, polish, and all that, the whole thing. They have machines, they have all that pads. Nano skin, they sell a bunch of stuff right here locally. Now, I said, no, I don't. So I wanna get off into this whole thing of kind of trying to support the local guy, right? So I'm gonna try his stuff. I bought some of these things and some of them Gino, the owner, gave me. So Gino, thank you very much for trusting me to review this stuff. You didn't know me from Adam when I walked onto your showroom. We talked for a little bit and you threw in a couple bottles of stuff. I really appreciate that. So this is their one step, kind of their all in one for mild correction, mild correction, um, light swirling, light watermarks, and it leaves behind a little bit of protection. Uh, I've been wanting to do a little bit of a, um, I don't know, an enhancement, if you will, on my wife's uh, grocery getter here. So I'm gonna do it on this fender, and then I'm gonna pause, post the video, put it up. I'll, I'll give you my thoughts and all that stuff, and then I'm gonna move on to a second product that I'm super excited to try. But first, we gotta do a little bit of polishing on this. I'm gonna be using my Bauer 20 millimeter long throw machine that I bought at Harbor Freight. Uh, believe it or not, it's really good. I know people are gonna be like, oh Doug, you killed me. I tuned into your channel first time today. Gino told me to watch your stuff. Let's see how he does. <sighs> now you're pumping a Bauer. What's wrong with you, Doug? Well, I'm gonna tell you. I've had Adams, and I'm not knocking Adams. His long throw swirl killer was great. But what I was doing, it was a downsizing all the stuff I had in my garage. So I sold it. I regret it, yes, true. And then now that I'm rebuying some things, I decided, you know, I don't detail that much anymore. I just play with products, basically. Doug, why don't you just buy a Harbor Freight machine and see if it's worth it. And the first time I used it, I loved it. So there's one step, it smells very chemical. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you that out of the gate. It smells almost like an aluminum polish, but this is their crystal clear one step paint correcting polish. So I'm gonna use the Lake Country Pad. I can't tell you which one this is. If it's the SDO, I can't remember, but I'm a big fan of Lake Country. This is a Lake Country Pad. And that's another thing. I will be buying pads from Gino. Mirror finishes, or mirror finish products, mirror finish polishes, my bad, carries Lake Country pads. So I'll be buying a lot of my pads from him. Um, take my lunch break, head north to Selma, pick them up. Let's get to it. I'm gonna do this one fender, give me my thoughts, then I'm gonna clean it up, roll it out in the sun, see if it did what I needed it to do, and then I'm gonna shoot another video following this. So let's get busy. Gonna add a little bit more than you need first go around. A lot of people season their pads. Um, some people don't believe in it, but in case you need to season your dry pad, I'm saying that's more than enough. All it's gonna do is create sling, or it's gonna be hard to get off, but let's spread it around, see what happens with this, okay? I'm gonna put it on four. Um, probably should have used my smaller machine because these body lines on this Honda, they're hard to use with a six and a half inch pad, but that's irrelevant, let's get to it.
So that went very uh, not so smooth. The body panels here, the body lines, body panel, body lines here, the creases in the body make it hard with a bigger pad to work very good. So I was all over the place. Usually I will do a section, spread it out, up and down, back and forth up and down, back and forth four times. If you're using faster hand speed, you can do six or eight passes. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna remove this real quick and then pause you guys. I'm gonna finish this section, bring you back when I bring it out in the sun and see what it did. It may have cleaned up enough, I hope so, because I just needed a light polish to a medium polish. This is definitely not a heavy compound. This is a light polishing, um, like lotion type polish and then I used a heavier cutting pad to get better results so if you need a more aggressive cut sometimes you can just use a wool pad a microfiber pad Eurofiber or firm foam so that's what I chose to do this is a very light polish and I just used a heavier uh, more firm foam to get better results so I'm gonna buff that off real quick see how hard it is to get off the panel And these are the Griots, they're like wax removing rags. I like them. The only problem with them is they're very small, so you use a lot of them to clean up a car. But anyway, that's for another video, talking about rags, right? So that came off super easy. I'll have to get it out in the sun and make sure I've got all the residue off of it before I proceed with the next step. I'll bring you guys in when I have it out in the sun, but that does look like it made a difference on this portion of the fender. I'm gonna pause you now though, because I wanna finish this fender, get it out in the sun and see what it did, okay? Let me pause you, I will be back. Sit tight. All right guys, I'm back. So, I finished it. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've actually polished or done a light correction or even a heavy correction. So I may have moved too fast, but we're going to move it out in the sun right now and check it. Let me make sure I didn't pull a rookie move and leave my keys inside. Papow. Nope. So what I'm going to do, move the camera to face out here. When it drives by, then we'll inspect it. And I'll give you my final thoughts on this stuff comes off easy I'll tell you that we'll find out how easy or if I missed any spots when I get it out here So, I know what I'm looking for. You guys might not be able to see it. Got a little smearing up there. So, it looks like there's some smears. I see up there where I may have missed some polish. But the reflection looks pretty amazing right now. I think I need to re-wipe it. So, I'm going to get it back in the garage, hit it with a detail spray. Um, and get that off of there. But I know what I'm looking for. It's hard to explain. It appeared to me a couple weeks ago, I saw some really funky spots on the paint. And I think the coating's failing, okay? Now, I don't see those funky spots. I can't pick them up on camera, but they appear to be gone to me. So, it's kind of slick too, holy crap. Not the slickest I felt, but for a one-step polish, guys, I like it. Let me see if you can pick up some of that gloss. There were some uh, minor smudges, but that was because I didn't get all the polish off. So, the reflection looks pretty good, I think. I don't know in red. Can you see me? Anyway, I think it looks good. There's some more minor smudges. But it's because I didn't buff it all off. 
But, um, hey guys, final thoughts on that polish. This is going to be something you do an enhancement with. Like a one step on a car. It's got some uh, spider webbing from the towel. Very light hazing. Very light swirl marks. Maybe some super light um, water spots. But I will tell you, a little bit slick to the touch. Which I'm impressed with. That's hard to get with an all-in-one. Um, it did clean up that panel a little bit. That's all I was looking for is a minor cleanup. I really believe the coating was failing on this car. I think I got to repolish the whole car. So it did what I needed it to do on that fender. So I'm, I'm super happy with this. This may be my new all-in-one polish, which means you clean it up a little bit, you enhance it a little bit, give it some gloss and a little bit of protection. So with that said, I would definitely recommend, especially if you're in the Central Valley, California, 559 area code, Fresno County, Tulare County, Kings County, would highly recommend mirror finish polishes in Selma and talk to Gino or his guy there in the showroom. Very friendly, very helpful, very affordable and effective. So stay tuned though. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this panel and I'm gonna bring you back for the, the actual, the king of videos. Hopefully this next product will excite you guys. I'm not saying I'm the king of video, but the next product is amazing. One year protection made by mirror finishes coming to you guys within the hour. Thanks for tuning in guys. Check out Gino. I will put his address, phone number, and all the contact information in the link below. Take care. Thanks for your support. Thank you for watching.